Lesson 2, Working with Dimensions. Part 1, Structure of the Salesman Table. A parent-child dimension is distinguished by the fact that it contains a hierarchy based on a recursive relationship. The hierarchical relationship between boss and subordinate salesman is a common example of a recursive relationship. The recursive salesman relationships of an organization can be modeled using an salesman dimension table that has one record for each salesman. The primary key of the table is the salesman ID column, which contains a unique ID for each salesman. The unique ID of the salesman's superior is contained in a boss SID column. This self-join between two columns of the salesman table identifies it as a parent-child dimension. Part 2, Current Salesman Dimension Now, salesman dimension is a flat dimension. Part 3, creating a parent-child dimension. In Solution Explorer, right-click the Salesman dimension and select Delete. Click OK. Right-click the Sales and select New Relationship. Select Salesman from the Destination Table list. Select Boss Identifier from the Source Columns list. Select Salesman Identifier from the Destination Columns list. Type the name of the relationship. Click OK. In Solution Explorer, right-click the Dimensions folder and select New Dimension. On the Welcome to the Dimension Wizard page, click Next. On the Select Creation Method page, verify that Use an Existing Table is selected and click Next. Select Salesman from the Main Table list. Select Surname from the Name column list and click Next. Verify that Salesman ID and Boss ID has been selected on the Key Available Attributes and click Next. Tape the name of the dimension and click Finish. Process the dimension. Click Reconnect button. Add Salesman Dimension to the Cube. In the Dimensions pane, right-click and select Add Cube Dimension. Select Salesman and click OK. Process the Cube.
click reconnect button. Part 4, Create a Level Naming Template for a Parent-Child Hierarchy. The default names of the levels are Level 1, Level 2, and so on. You can also rename the levels in a Parent-Child Hierarchy by creating a Level Naming Template. Click Salesman tab. Click the Dimension Structure tab. In the Attributes pane, right-click the Boss ID attribute and select Properties. In the Properties window, scroll to the Parent-Child group, select the Naming Template property, and then click the Ellipsis button that appears on the right. In the Level Naming Template dialog box, type Boss in the field next to the asterisk. Add new level, salesman and click OK. Process the dimension. Click Reconnect button and browse the data. Part 5, Remove the All Level and Hide the Unknown Member. In the sales and dimension, all of the members aggregate into a single member, Smith, who then aggregates into the all member. The all member is redundant and can be removed. The unknown member is unnecessary and can be hidden. Click the dimension structure tab. In the attributes pane, right click the salesman and select properties. In the properties window, set the value of the unknown member property to hidden. In the Attributes pane, right-click the Bosset and select Properties. Set the value of the isagrogatable property to false. Process the dimension. Browse the dimension. Part 6, Hide Attribute Hierarchies. You can hide an attribute hierarchy so that it will not appear in a browser. But it is important for you to understand that the attribute hierarchy still exists.
right-click card dim tab. In the Attributes pane, right-click Category and select Properties. In the Properties window, scroll up to the Advanced group and select the Attribute Hierarchy Visible property. Change the property value to False. Process the dimension. Click Reconnect button and browse the dimension. Category Hierarchy was hidden. Click Reconnect button. Category Hierarchy was hidden in the cube. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com